You won't believe we're back in, in the first five innings today. Great spot for a team to bounce back. And an over that uh, you will want to get down on. Two and one on the show yesterday, Mark. You are starting us off with the aforementioned first five play. And uh, you, we were laughing before the show started. This is very much a Brian Power-esque selection that you're about to give out. But uh, it is yours. And please tell the folks why they should put their hard-earned money on the Chicago White Sox on Tuesday. Well, you know what else was very Brian Power-esque of me? Um, yesterday was very Brian Power-esque. Remember how I said you need to get more right than wrong in this business? Yeah, yesterday was not one of those days where I did that at all. So uh, not good. Didn't get our $5 play right. The only thing I was absolutely sure of that I got right yesterday was that total in the game two of the Guardians and Royals. So apologies to all who Yep, was our best bet. Got that one right. Thank you very much. Everything else I pretty much did wrong. I think I was born wrong. Baseball's wrong. Life is wrong. Let's move oh, on. No, stop it. You're a good speaking man. Wrong, yeah, you know, somebody has to be it. Um, speaking of wrong, that's the White Sox. Their, their season has just been absolute dumpster fire trash. However, this is a spot here that you just can't pass up at home with the Chicago White Sox against a fading Texas Rangers team here. And the matchup, pitching matchup, is so favorable that it's just hard to ignore. Garrett Crochet starts with the White Sox. I think it's well documented about how how well he's pitched this year. And for a team that is 70, count it 70, 7-0 games below 500 uh, at 31 and 101, I'm playing on the Chicago White Sox here in the first five um, on the run line. Now, interestingly enough, by the way, the, Ra- the Rangers swept the four-game series back in July. They won three of those games by one run. So they were tight the whole way. Um, And Crochet here, although he's not going to go five because they put him on an innings limit, you're really only going to get one bullpen inning out of the White Sox. We know how bad their bullpen is, but theoretically it should be enough. And the other reason why is because the Rangers are starting Andrew Heaney. He's 4-13. and He's got a 404 ERA. He's got a 1-2-4 whip. These are Patrick Corbin-type numbers that Andrew Heaney is trotting out there on a consistent basis. So... Love the situation here. Love this spot. Um, you're asking the White Sox bats, which aren't that great, to go hit against a pitcher who isn't that great. Advantage to the bats there in that spot. Garrett Crochet, a very good plus starter on the mound for Chicago. As long as he limits the damage to a run or two, I think we get lucky here with uh, I think we get lucky here with Chicago being able to be tied or, or have a lead even uh, at the end of the first five innings. White Sox first five run line for me. Thank you. Snattering Invoking the. <laughs> a small smattering, yes. Invoking the name of Patrick Corbin and taking the White Sox first five plus Patrick half a run. Day. It, it is, is uh, boy. He, he is a big underdog against the Yankees, as you'd expect. Smash that like button if you're rolling with Zeno. Smash that like Something button. He's just like a man. Yes, stop it. All right. <laughs> Let uh, You mentioned our show best bet yesterday was on the over eight and a half in Guardians Royals. Uh, and I'm going to come back today, my half of double play, by taking the Guardians team total over four and a half against the Royals. Zeno, check this out. Going back to last season, when the Guardians are involved in a doubleheader, they are 1-15, in their last eight doubleheaders in games. That is astounding. Uh, They were swept yesterday. So, of course, I want to come back and back them tonight. But I don't trust Gavin Williams, necessarily. And the Guardians bullpen, which is usually... uh, a big edge over any opponent, best ERA in baseball. Well, they saw heavy usage in those two games yesterday. But Guardians bats, I like them to break out on Tuesday. Why? Royals starter Michael Lorenzen, 4.70 expected ERA, 4.99 expected fit. He's got a 1.50 whip his last three outings. And that Royals bullpen, we talk about it all the time. We mentioned it on the show yesterday. Bottom seven ERA this season. They may not be as tired as their Cleveland counterparts, but they are bad. So between Lorenzen and the Royals' pen, I think the Cleveland offense finds a way to go over four and a half runs tonight. That is my half of the double play. Uh, We're going to be letting you know, unbelievable. You know, Zeno gets a smattering of applause and I get crickets. Uh, I'm going to be talking about how you can get a free week of football winners in just a moment. That uh, does not deserve crickets or birds chirping. Uh, But... No, unfortunately, Zeno, you mentioned customer appreciation day yesterday. I, too, uh, unfortunately lost while I was right on my half of the double play yesterday on the show and uh, did a good job on first pitch. Unfortunately, uh, my $5 play went down as well. The, the... It's a bad day for the morning wager. I mean, you know, we probably celebrated well, a little too much. 
We, you know? Yeah, we saw a little too much maybe, of a bubbly, but maybe, maybe, we should, maybe we should take a walk, you know, start contemplating okay. life. Let's um, be a little more humble. Oh, no walking. No walking. Well, let's be uh, more walk, humble, walk, perhaps. Not walking, uh, introspective. Not walking, not walking bets. bets. No walking bets. Okay. I don't know. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I see someone peeking up from down below there. All right. Uh, free week of football winners. That's why you should be peeking from down below. This is a great deal, Zeno, uh, that we've got cooking here at wagertalk.com. If you buy a 14-day all-access, that's $198, okay? We will throw in an additional week of service, a third week of service, absolutely free of charge. And it's not just football that you're getting, NFL and college. You're getting all sports as well, Major League Baseball, uh, anything else anyone wants to do, soccer from me. Uh, it was a great end to the football season last year for your surely 19 and 8 in college football. Feels like just yesterday you and I were sweating out Michigan versus Alabama and we were sweeping the Super Bowl. What do you have on tap for Tuesday? Yes. Well, talk, talk about football, talk about Tuesday, talk about whatever you would like before we get to our best bet here for the program. Yeah, you know, every now and then we uh, we overextend ourselves. Yesterday was probably one of those days. Uh, didn't need to go with the five dollar play and then three more plays. Although one of those other three plays was the only thing that hit, so maybe there was a silver lining there. So we're going to shorten the card up a little bit tonight. We'll get one play in, uh, and it's a total, guys. I've gotten four totals consecutive in a row. Seeing the board well from that aspect, uh, finding you know weak spots in uh, in the board where I can take advantage, and I think we've done that again tonight. So we'll have one play up. It'll be a four percent play. Uh, on a total in Major League Baseball tonight. WT.buzz slash MZ. Despite yesterday, still, guys, near the top of the leaderboard for the entire month. We've had such a good month. We're going to keep it going. We'll turn it right back around today. So, again, WT.buzz slash MZ. Speaking of MLB totals, <laughs> there, there's the cabbage patch. He's on the mound tonight. Speaking mound. of Major League Baseball totals, though, we have one for our best bet on the show today. And we've got two lousy starters in this game. And the worst bullpen in all of baseball. Now, odds makers, and by the way, the most hitter-friendly ballpark uh, at, you can find. Totals high. We don't think it's high enough in Marlins, Rockies, Mr. Zeno. Yeah, um, kind of want Rodery Munoz to continue pitching because every time he does, I bet against him and it works. Um, his last four outings, three, five, three, and six runs is what he's given up. Uh, on the road, at home, it doesn't matter. Look, Rodri Munoz is not a major league starter. He gets to wear a major league uniform and pitch for the Marlins, but he's not a major league starter. He's got an ERA near six, a whip of 1.5. Um, little trouble keeping the ball in the ballpark, giving up uh, five home runs in his last five outings. So um, this is a spot here in Colorado where it's not going to end up well for him. I think he ends up giving up more of this stuff here. But again, Cal Quantrill has also been equally as bad, uh, even when he is at home. It's another guy with an ERA approaching four and a half. An ER a whip of 1.4. You know, you kind of look at his splits. He's slightly better at home than he is on the road, but still, it is Coors Field. Um, I think we get a bunch of runs here. This total is set at 11 for a reason. Let's not try to overthink it. Let's just jump right in right now before it moves to 11.5 because money will come in on the over tonight. There you go. Show best bet. Over 11 in Marlins and Rockies. The two teams that came into existence in 1993, Mark. A little trivia for you there. Okay. All right. If you haven't already smashed that like button, do it now because I just gave you that nice piece of trivia. And if you're not subscribed to the Way to Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? It's very simply hit subscribe. And if you click that bell, you get instant alerts when your favorite shows drop. And speaking of your favorite shows, The Morning Wager, every Monday through Friday, Mark and I giving you three free winners. Uh, that does it for the show today. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. Maybe start incorporating some football into the program. Yes. College Football Week oh, yes. 1 oh, begins yeah. on Thursday. Some interesting matchups. So we will be sure to be breaking those down for you. Now I feel better. You did have a long face the whole show. I, 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 I was yeah, trying to make you. That, that'll you. make you feel better. No. No. Oh. I feel oh. even your head bob is a little. Talk to her. Yes. All right, everybody. Oh, Jesus. Oh.